Today is the day you will lose fat. Come see Dr. T at NJ Diet. Easiest diet I've ever done. It's changed my life. Come see Dr. T. Using blood work and DNA testing. 1-855-5-NJ-DIET and NJDiet.com. Change your life in only 40 days with NJ Diet. Oh, yeah. You like this song, Joe? Does it remind you of something? Oh, God, do I love that. I can't wait. April 9th. Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny. I, I thought, uh, Bernie and Joe, that, and Joseph Abu, what is here, is here each and every Wednesday, that you may not be here today because baseball season, although we've had a couple of games last week with the Mariners and A's, it really starts tomorrow. Yeah. Mets in Washington for the Nationals. Yankees here in the Bronx hosting Baltimore. So I checked the schedule. Red Sox start a four-game set in Seattle tomorrow. That's right. Then they go to Oakland for a four-game set. Mm-hmm. Then they go to Arizona for a three-game set. Yeah. Then they're off Monday the 8th. And it's not until Tuesday, April 9th against Toronto that the Red Sox, 11 games in, will play their first game this year at Fenway Park. That's right, and I'll be there. Of course you will. I'll be there. Getting out the rings that night, right? Uh, You know, it's going to be special. I mean, basically getting the rings, and but every opening day special. Yankee fans, Mets fans, right. have every even, opening even day. Even in Cleveland, for God's sake. Uh, they love it's it, huge. you know. It's so exciting. I you can't wait. The ballparks are majestic when you walk you know, into them, and it's the time. first day. I mean, it's, you a, know, it's hey. a new season. Everybody's starting even. Everybody's got a chance. It's really Not fun. everybody has a chance. The Mets have a great chance. The Mets do, but well, how, it, how do you think the Mets have more field but, but he's right there. Every, <laughs> everybody has, there's you're, no record. Yeah, that's zero, right. zero, you know, zero, right. zero, zero. You never know. Right. So it could be a good No, I mean, game. of all the sports, we've seen wild card teams in baseball. Yeah. The Marlins, in fact, did it twice. That's right. Uh, go out there and have great seasons. We saw some surprises last year. Nobody envisioned the Milwaukee Brewers having the year that they had. There are some teams, though, that have no chance. I mean, teams like the Marlins will lose 100 yeah. games this year. Yeah, it's not great for baseball. No. It's certainly not great Why for Why do you baseball? have to seize on negative. <laughs> well, guys, you Joseph know is trying Pick, to be so positive. You know, you know, it's opening day. You know, you know why? I'll tell you why. I keep mentioning the Marlins because, no disrespect to Joe, but coming up next hour, and Joe loves this guy, one of the great writers, one of the great baseball writers in the country, Bob Clappish, has oh, a fantastic. new book out. Great writer. It's yeah, about is. the Yankees, and he talks a lot about... Inside Yankees? Yes, Derek Jeter's relationship with Cashman, mm-hmm. and how basically Cashman fleeced him out of getting Giancarlo Stanton, and in the end, it's going to be the combination of Stanton and Judge that's going to stop your team from getting their second consecutive that's World right. Series ring. That's right. That's right. Thanks for the positive <laughs> information. I really appreciate that. But you can't spoil it for me. I'm, you know, no. that that moment when they get Don't the ring them. is is really special. Have you been at one of those? I got a Mets ring. Fan? I got an '86 ring from the Mets. And guess who gave it to you? Oh, the Red Sox <laughs> gave you that. <laughs> Did we give? Did we I'm give you that ring? Joseph. Bill Buckner, did, Bill Buckner did, did, did we, give rapid. Did yes, we, yes. We gave you that ring. I didn't really ring. get so, a ring, but so, I don't, So no. say thank you. Yes. Uh, well, I thank Bill Buckner all the time. Yeah. yeah. No, no. And it's exciting time. And will you be at any opening days? Are you going to go to the Mets I'm opening? going to the Mets opening day against the Nationals. Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank I you. would go tomorrow, to be honest, only because it's an afternoon game. Right. And, you know, my kid's home from school. Gaby, he's on spring break, so I can right. go. So I'm thinking about tomorrow, but definitely... April the 4th in Queens, Mets and Nets. Fantastic. And uh, you know the Red Sox and Yankees are playing in London. I do know that. And I Bernie's going to that one. That's my, I am that's going my to those games. Oh, you're going they're, with Bernie. They're playing at Wimbledon. It's, yeah. uh, it's stadium. <laughs> 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 They'll be white, you know, uh, yeah. rugby outfits or whatever they're going to be Listen, wearing. Not only am I going to Mets opening day, this is the Schnurra Gavone that I am. And nobody knows better than you. <laughs> Everything I wear is Joseph Abu. I haven't paid for a shirt yet. So I already texted Mitch Modell this morning. Yes, of course. And I said, I, I need to get a new DeGrom jersey, A for tomorrow, to do the show with Bernie opening day. Yes. And then for next week, when I go to Queens for the Mets' actual home opener, can I get it at the 34th Street store? This was last night, tomorrow. You just want to pick it up. Right, so I'm picking it up this afternoon after the show. Are you going to get the whole outfit, or are you, <laughs> and or are you just going to get the shirt now? Just the shirt. Okay. Well, it's like people going to... Uh, to Wimbledon and they're wearing tennis outfits like they're going to play, <laughs> right? I, I, you know, I don't know so, how much of the wardrobe you actually have to wear because you're not playing. You know, speaking of models on Seventh Avenue, Joseph just told us that Seventh Avenue is closed. Yeah, and Joe Nolan's been talking about it all morning. And just coincidentally, this is an aside. I was watching New York One, and it was the uh, it, it was it, it was botched up yesterday. Anyway, I was watching Lewis Dodley on New York One, and he was reading the headlines, teasing the upcoming stories. And it, 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 it's Chelsea, twenty fifth and Seventh Avenue. Mm-hmm. It's a big gay neighborhood in Manhattan. So he starts out by saying, 
water main break causes chaos in Chelsea. And then he takes a pause and he goes, and firefighters respond to a steaming manhole as well. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> oh, that is. We should have gotten mean, that audio. He yeah. did this with a straight face. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh, you know what you're saying here. I know that neighbor. I used to live on 21st and 8th during 9-11 when I worked with you, Bernie. I was living in Chelsea. And um, a very nice place. I actually took Lou one night to Rawhide. Across the street on 8th Avenue. He yeah. loved it. <laughs> he really did. I'm not even kidding. But, uh, by the way, you look, this outfit today, this yeah. white jacket. You look stunning. Oh, let's, my Let's say God. off-white. Let's say off-white. It's off-white. Right. A blue vest, blue tie, blue yeah. shirt, blue jeans. But the jacket with your tan and your hair, it just looks incredible. It's Talk about Chelsea. A, a little corduroy. A little. Yeah. Cor- that, you got a nice a, hang, pocket hanky. Pocket. You know, you got the whole thing going. You know, I... And I said to, you know, the team, you know, I have a reputation to live up to, and it's, it's scary. It's one of my favorite outfits. <laughs> i got to tell you the no, truth. No, I'd rather hang out in my sweats when I can. But I'm, I'm I've never it. seen you in sweats ever. Well, they're really good sweats. <laughs> <laughs> they're really good so sweats. And they're well-coordinated at the gym. So, so you're making fun of me because I will go to Queens next week wearing my, my Jacob DeGrom jersey. Right. When you arrive April 9th at Fenway Park, right. you'll be dressed like that. Yeah, I don't wear the jerseys. The really? only time, you know, it's the only time I wore a Red Sox outfit was when I threw out the first pitch at Fenway. Um, it was actual Red Sox uniform. It, well, I was your just name the jersey. on it or yes? No, no, no. It was, no. It was no mas. No mas. But yeah. So, but you know what? I, I it's just so great, and that's such an enormous business now. Mitch, who's done an incredible job, Mitch Modell. I mean, he's got the best jerseys, the best. He's got the best. So if you're going to shop, shop with Mitch because he's the best. Shop with Mitch. You know what? He is one of our, what our, you know, one of our best friends, and he's our, fa- he's and, our favorite Mitch. And he by is. the way, he yeah. has great seats to every sporting event in the world. Yeah, but those Yankee seats are the best. Oh my God! And you get that room with the seafood and oh, the lobster it is, it is and no, the candy wall for my son. So I'm always critical of Yankee Stadium, but I have to say that I have never had food not like that. Not no. at no. At Yankee Stadium, it's better than any gourmet restaurant it is. Yeah. here I mean, in you, New York. You have to mortgage your house oh, to, to my, afford it. No, those is, are like two thousand dollar seats uh, that he gives oh, yeah. out. It, it, it's amazing. So, I'm, Mitch, if you're listening, I'm looking for an invitation. <laughs> Sid and I are willing we to are. go with you. So, one of the things you wanted to talk about today, which was given to us by Jill, which I found <laughs> yeah. very interesting, yeah, was I was talking to Craig Carton a couple of days ago. Oh. Actually, yesterday, I was and how is he doing? Doing okay. They're going to send some people. Great. He's going to jail for five years. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, five years. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, he's going to be sentenced terrible. on April the fifth. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? Yes. Oh, he wanted to know where I was in Florida. He saw the pictures. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there was a picture of Craig in the paper last week, mm-hmm. when in fact they told everybody the sentencing has been postponed for the third time. It will be April fifth now, mm-hmm. and he was wearing a pretty nice suit. Yeah. And Danielle said, "Wow, he lost a lot of weight, but he looks pretty good. It's a nice suit. Mm-hmm. Does it matter?" When you go for sentencing right. and you're facing five years, eight years, ten years, this is a silly question, but maybe it's not. Does it, it matter a, what you look like in front of the judge? I absolutely think it does. You I do? Think, yes. I do think I, that I there's agree. a legal dress code. Think about the, the best-dressed lawyers. Think about Arthur. Arthur Idella. Is he not one of the best-dressed yes. guys, you know? Or Joe Takapina? He rivals you, uh, does well, Arthur. Or you have a guy like uh, not so much Avenatti Joe. who just makes a good suit look bad because of the guy, <laughs> not, for, you know, those 4,000. He does, he does injustice to suits. But I do think you have to present yourself well. Lawyers do it. They understand how they present. Some are flashier than others. Remember Johnny Cochran? Sure. That sort of thing. They sure. do that. But, but lawyers are so focused on presentation and the juries and the judge and that first impression and if you're going to get sentenced well present yourself well i would say this uh, sentencing maybe not so much because it's already predetermined right. but 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 when you go in front of a judge for bail and stuff like or during the trial i, I, I mean don't show up in a t-shirt and sneakers I, you know don't look that's right but how do you explain this to me then two of the best attorneys that i've come to know in my lifetime right. one's gone now bill kunstler and ron kuby they are a mess. Even when Kubi gets dressed up, he <laughs> looks like he was out all that's night. That's why all his clients are in prison. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Just remember, you know, what to wear to an indictment. That's really <laughs> <Exactly>. important. <Yeah. laughs> the early part. The sentencing again. Uh, and the, uh, the writing yeah. is already on the wall at that point. You that's show right. up in, uh, you know, in gym clothes and you be, still that's get right. the same thing. That's sentence. right. That's but right. Joseph Abu, listen, we love you to pieces. Thank you, buddy. We're out of time, but we do really uh, enjoy your appearance here. Every Your store, the uh, Black Label... 
flagship store is up at 49th and Madison. You can see Joseph there. He's there toiling away nine days out of ten if I you go it. up there. Thank you, Bernie. Thank you, Sid. Love you guys. You love you, too. You look week. fantastic. Okay. See you next I'll week. I'll be more chin than you next week. No chance. <laughs> I'll go back to Florida again, you son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, take a picture of that, will you? We'll take a short break. Bernie and Sid coming right back. What can I say? Just dip my heart and, and call the Yankees my daddy. Bernie and Sid in the morning.